Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and today we're visiting Grandol. This should be a fairly short episode. So come through across across a couple rivers and here we are. From here it shouldn't be far to Magistea. And anyway, we're in a hurry. So the local guard decides to give us the route. He recognizes Sara, so this is probably part of his job. At the moment the violence is down down and the rebel army is confined itself to a tower near the town of Magisteria. Saki-chan Kira. And Sonya observes that he just tagged something weird onto the end of his explanation and said it all natural-like. Yes, there's, at the Grand Theater here, there's a succubus that has the stage. Uh, she's she's uh, enraptured a number of the townsfolk with certain techniques. It's not really inconvenient. It's just, from time to time, they add weird words onto their senses. It says, Kira. So, Sara suggests he retire back to her castle and rest for a while. But he insists it's just, occasionally you run off your mouth weirdly. Outside of that, there aren't any problems. Irias has heard this rumor and naturally she thinks that the succubus needs to be put down. Sara wants to hurry to Magistea but she agrees that we should handle the succubus thing. The guard, for his part, says that we shouldn't. What? Now Elias goes ahead and says that he's been so deeply enthralled that he doesn't even realize what he's saying. This only convinces her more strongly to do what she wanted to do in the first place. But it's just one succubus, it shouldn't take too long. Enchanting, isn't it? Okay, enough making fun of that. Some song lyrics, pretty lame poppy stuff. And yeah, we're up here on stage and interrupting. She says we can't touch. So we're going to ask her to abandon the stage. Apparently, Rhea says that she's troubling people, but she doesn't. And they are, and her fans are, for their part, cheering. Now we can leave her alone, or cheer for her ourselves, or get in trouble with her. So apparently she's going to play this off as part of her performance. Her fans continue to cheer. Oh right, I'm still preserved. She wants money? Yeah, go ahead, whatever. Here we go. Yep, you lost. The fans continue to cheer. I guess this is part of the performance as well. So Saki's dream was to be the top idol of the world. 
And it's all ruined here. Yeah, except we weren't really saying that, we just wanted you off the stage for a little while. Uh, maybe she is actually doing it 24 hours a day. In some weird kind of succubus magic, she gets sustenance from people's cheers so that she doesn't have to eat or sleep. But that's just speculation. They just say she's monopolizing the stage, so perhaps only all the entertainment that goes on here is her. Anyway, she assesses the weird travelers, so she's going to invite herself along. Yes or no? Yeah, sure, whatever. Because I did some grinding yesterday to recruit Casta, my party's actually fairly high level, so we're gonna kick her out. And now the fans figure out that she's leaving. And they come to the conclusion that she's going on a world tour. Which, after a fashion, is true. We're not quite done here. I do want to point out an interesting item you would be well advised to try and get your hands on. This is one of the casinos available in the game. They let you buy coins and then gamble with coins. And if you get enough coins you can buy things from their shop. What I would like to get is this, Zetsuma no Udewa. This will allow you to have no encounters whatsoever. If you equip it in an accessory slot on any of your party. It overrides the encounter five times, so if you could put, leave those on all the time, and when you don't want encounters, just equip this item. Unfortunately, it costs 8,000 coins, which translated into the purchase price here is 108,000 gold. And I've only got about 60,000, so I have to go without that and do the manual switching to half off. Encounter half several times when I want to do that. And here's a sheep. She says the more she drinks, the stronger she gets. Ha 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 ha. Glug glug ha 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 ha. Oh look who's here to pick her up. She glares sternly at Mary. Mary looks sheepish. And she doesn't even have anything to say at this point. And we get an achievement. Alright, now that we've gotten Saki off the chi stage, this guy is apparently the manager or something. And he needs acts. So there are a ton of acts we can participate in. Oh. I guess Saki does need to be in my party for that event to occur. Well, before we leave immediately, check it out. It's Allison Gang. She's eating, of course. And it tastes good, so she's convinced this is a really nice town. Elias observes that she's eating all the food. And her... And her two slaves are also hanging about. <laughs> Alice observes that this biscuit is tasty and apparently offers one to Elias. She agrees. They get along pretty well when they're eating. Yusuko likes carrots, but she also likes to eat fish a lot. She is a slime after all. Mofuya says there isn't any fried foods. Her name's fun to say. Mofuya, Mofuya, Mofuya. And speaking of fox girls, it's time for another Kitsune Senpai lesson time. Kamuro would like to know why is there so little water in the desert? And that's because, well, you know, um, the god of the desert gets thirsty really quickly. 
As expected of Kitsune Senpai. She really knows everything. And here's someone you can talk to. This is the house of Don Father, supposedly the mafia boss of the entire world. And while I try and say that, in this set of drawers here is another small metal. So this is the place of Don Father. And here he introduces himself. This is Marlin, the man known as Don Father. Sonia's surprised at how gentle he is for being a crime boss and all. Well, intimidation and strong armory is what his subordinates do. He's not suited to it, so he does the management. Elias observes that this is within uh, the kingdom of Savasa, and yet he never got caught out by the previous king. Well, you see, a coin has both a head and a tail. That sort of thing happens in human society as well. This is something that the late king understood. As long as there is light, darkness will, shadow will, appear. So he's saying that he basically left the Mafia alone. Well, it's not that he exactly said any such thing. The previous king didn't exactly pledge to allow this to go on. But he did recognize that villains are not so easily dispersed. <clears throat> if they try and overdo themselves in rooting out crime, then it will only cause a bigger problem in the end. By causing the crime to go underground, it would be in a position where it couldn't be controlled. And since Don Father here keeps it under control, essentially what the king was doing was allowing him to have a controlled evil rather than an uncontrolled evil. Also, being in this organization makes him easier to keep track of. Marlin, Don Father, regrets having lost uh, his late majesty. A great man, apparently. Especially with the fires of war starting to flare up. Yeah, but he has talked too much. And he's going to take his leave. So that's the Mafia. And here Marlin says to somebody that they have left. Ross Otto complains that it's really cramped under there and hard to breathe. Marlin, for his part, is pretty entertained at seeing Ross Otto do that. Hide under there. Marlin, for his part, says that he was kind of sweating there, too. After all, he had met Luca and Sonia when they were young. But they apparently didn't recognize him after all. Of course not. Do you remember when you met them? 
They weren't even old enough to speak. So, putting nostalgia behind them, they do have business to talk about. Marlin, for his part, calls Razaru Don Faza. So, that was basically an act for our part. You may have remembered, early on I told you about the four companions, the four adventurers that were originally in Lucas' father's party. First of all, Lucas' father, and then Razaro, Sonia's mother, Karen. I think that's her name. I keep forgetting her name. And finally, their magician named Marlin. Whom we have just met. Well, Luca and Sonia met him a long time ago as well, but this time they remember him. Now, Saki. Saki, there she is. Now, I guess you need Saki in your party for this. Speaking to the manager. Oh, she misses him. He misses her so much. And she offers to come back and do a performance. Which we can do. And apparently he also gives permission for us to have some performances of our own. So, talking to this guy, we now have all these things opened up. These stage one, stage two, stage three things are just different sets of acts that you can put on. This one's named Halloween. This one... <laughs> this is the Tiny Bandit Gang's friend, uh, friendly gathering. May as well. This is where they sing a little song. Let's sing it together. Atama no hana ga chip papa. Minna de yugi chip papa. Oh no, oh no. Oh, wait. Minnie started singing the wrong song. And they've got a few fans. They are pretty cute. And that's the manner of thing you can see there. The first time you do any given one, you get an item or two. Let's see. Oinari-sama. That's probably our two fox girls. Pray to the goddess, that's probably Elias. Or possibly... No, I don't have very many sister types in this save. Promistines... What would Promistine do on a, on a stage? Necromancer Act. Princess Act. Apotosius. The world of Apotosius. I'll probably do that in my main save. I've got all the Apotosis girls. But that covers events directly here in Grandor. But we have one more thing. Since we finished the Saki event... Where was the vampire? If you had wandered around town and talked to everybody, you would have found a vampire that asked you to 
take care of the things and take care of Saki's performance. And here she is. So the succubus has finally left the stage and she will give us a small medal. Maybe she was a competitor. But anyway, we got a small medal out of it, and that's what matters. Whoops. It's a good thing I buy those in bulk. So after Grand Old, we're going to go to Magistea Village. But that covers it for today. And I will see you tomorrow, YouTube.